Supernatural signs and wonders are not sure signs of salvation. Rather, they can be used to distract us so that we miss the main gospel message of love. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God fully, more fully, we read in John 13, 35, Jesus speaking, By this, the wor- all the world will know you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. He didn't say the world will know you as Christians by the many signs and wonders we perform. In fact, Matthew seven twenty one, Jesus speaking, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Verse 22, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? In verse 23, And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. How can someone do so many acts of wonders and operate in the gifts of prophecy and be considered lawless or a sinner? 1 John 3, 4 says, Whoever commits sin also commits lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. In other words, can an unrighteous person, someone who is an enemy of God, perform supernatural signs and wonders? Just look at Exodus chapters 7 and 8 for your answer. God commanded Moses in 7.10 to cast down your rod before Pharaoh and his servants, and it became a serpent. Verse 11, Pharaoh's ungodly wise men and sorcerers and magicians also did in like manner. In the last days, Revelation 13.2 talks about Satan and the Antichrist and how the dragon gave the beast his power and great authority, which healed a mortal wound, and all the world marveled and followed the beast. In Revelation 13.3, the beast performs great signs so that fire came down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Verse 14, and he deceives those who dwell on earth by these signs. So basically, what we... Or, excuse me, what we are left with are fact that signs and wonders are not proof of salvation. In Matthew seven fifteen through 20, Jesus says, Beware of false prophets who come in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Verse 16, You will know them by their fruits. Verse 20, Therefore by their fruits you will know them. Galatians five twenty two: The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So while healings, miracles, and prophecies can be very good, especially for the recipient, we can get our eyes off what's most important. Does the person doing these great feats have proof of bearing good fruit in their lives? A good magician is a master of distraction. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. And the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Words of encouragement as we move deeper into the last day. Keep our eyes on what is most important. Don't get distracted with flashy signs and wonders demonstrated by people we don't know their fruit. The enemy of of our soul, Satan, would love nothing more for us to run after his deceptions instead of us being most concerned about our personal relationship with Father God through Christ, which is developed in the secret place, just us and God alone in his word, Thereby, thereby fulfilling Christ's command to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, Matthew 6, 33, which is located within us, Luke seventeen twenty one, where the fruit of the Spirit is planted, watered, and grown. Have a great day.